Okay, y'all, so here's the view I was looking at <clears throat> while I was filming this video, I, was, I promised you to get right here. Look how beautiful those trees look, man. This is my coziest time of the year right now. Beautiful, it gets nice and chilly, cozy. See the colors on the trees right there? Anyway, man, y'all stay blessed. I love you. It's your boy, Snoopy. Just fall away and enjoy the video. You know. Car bang, you know. What's up, everybody? Snoopy East fall away. Back again with another mukbang. A long awaited mukbang. I'm not in my usual uh, setup at home as I am moving again for a temporary spot until I officially move again. So, two more moves, y'all. So, life has been a little up and down, but all good. Nothing bad. Just uh, really busy and trying to get things worked out. But I decided to do. I wanted to do originally do a Taco Bell mukbang, but there's nothing new on the menu except for Nachos Bell Grande, which isn't new for us in the States, right? But out here in Northern Ontario, Canada, they consider that new. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. But I said, is there anything new on the KFC menu? And as I said that, I glanced up to the side. I see they have a new spicy chicken, right? So it's a little orange, a little kind of orange reddish, a little bit, probably like this, but not as bright. Uh, so we'll get into that and do a little uh, pre-Halloween horror movie chat we'll talk about the whole complete series from part one to part 12 i believe of the friday the 13th series jason Voorhees, of course one of my favorites my favorite being halloween will be uh michael myers freddie i don't really have a favorite in those slots but i'd have to say i go more with michael myers but we are going to break down some some jason on this one all right so let's check out this chicken i don't have my mic y'all so filming in a school park a lot of up north visiting my my kids <clears throat> okay so it's not really it, it looks colored in the uh, picture so it's kind of like a little bit of a false advertising but it looks like regular chicken but it's kind of got a little bit of that uh, Popeye's outer coating if you will a little bit right there so we have that and then of course I got a large gravy to do a little dunking in right um, this setup for car bangs for me is, is rough because I do have the stand right here, but I don't have the proper angles for my phone. So I have it propped up on the dash right now. Um, because the thing I ordered to hold my phone is not sticking on my dash. So we got to work with what we're working with. I got some ketchup and some hot sauce. I'll keep those on the side. Yeah, well, they didn't have hot. They didn't have nothing really. This had some mild sauce. So I got some ketchup and mild sauce. And uh, a Pepsi to drink because three of their soda uh, syrup in the fountain was uh, out. So just regular Pepsi. And then I got some nachos with extra cheese sauce. So we can do that. Y'all know how it goes. So not the best of setups, but still a setup nonetheless. Yo, but their cheese sauce is amazing though. Simple. So yeah, I'm up north visiting uh, my family, my kids. My son just turned 27. So happy birthday to my son, Marcus. Mm. Something about these regular nachos that are bomb. I don't know what it is. Simple to the point. But I am the loaded nacho dude on YouTube, so I am going to come with another loaded nacho video in the near future. some um some of this uh talk about mild sauce i never eat the mild sauce with all they have so as long as i can get that flavor we're good two up in there so how's everybody doing man you know, thanksgiving for, for canadians just passed <clears throat> i don't care for the holidays but the food is always a plus for me in my book so did i grab Oh, you're right. You already know.
that KFC gravy boy. Nice and hot. So we'll try to we'll take a bite of the chicken first to see <clears throat> if it's spicy like they say it is. So apparently this is new for Northern Ontario. So we'll we'll check it out. Like I said, it's got that nice crispy outside. You already know KFC has got amazing flavor when it comes to their chicken. So let's try it out. Like I already <clears throat> thought in my mind, especially the initial opening, for me personally, this is not spicy at all. Popeye's chicken is, their spicy chicken is spicier than this, and that's not spicy either. But still a good piece of chicken, man. Hit it with that gravy. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Gravy's piping hot. Mm. We need to jazz this up. <clears throat> See the fire sauce? <clears throat> with, excuse me, with a little bit of ketchup <clears throat> in the gravy with the chicken is amazing. Like, I'm a sauce guy. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you, you know um, who Sauce Queen is. She's a sauce lady. And then my boy, um, black hoodie he's a sauce guy too so we like to sauce it up around here <clears throat> yeah, one more and then we'll add a hot sauce into it mm, mild sauce and we'll use this last little oh, this is, this is a little nacho stir it up kind of stir it up a little bit Again, mm, way better. All right, so the Friday the 13th series with Jason. We all know the part one focuses more on the mother, right? She's doing the killing. Um, in Camp Crystal Lake, you know, they, they bullied Jason. He was like handicapped and slightly retarded or something like that. Yeah, he almost looked like a zombie since he was little. And they teased him, teased him until it, you know, he, he just couldn't take it no more or whatever, but he didn't retaliate on them. He, they pushed him into the water and he drowned, right? So ever since that, he's just been always on a mission to come back to Camp Crystal Lake to kill all the, all the people that's there, mainly the staff, right? So yeah, like I said, the mother's doing all the killing in the first one. And then in part two, he's he's killing. He's young, but he's, he's like, I think he's probably like anywhere between 18 and 21. <clears throat> and he's killing with a sackcloth on his head. I didn't really care for those first two. But I'll watch them back just to kind of refresh. Or you can go on YouTube and watch a recap now. But it'll just take like an hour clip and just break down everything up until whatever point you're trying to get to. And 
And then <clears throat> some of the some of the guys that play Jay said I didn't really care for. My favorite being Michael Hodges, I think is his name. He actually has like kills tattooed in his lip right here. He's about six four or something like that, six five, big dude. So the bigger Jasons are more appealing, right? Puts a lot more in the fear factor. He's bigger. He just looks better. The aesthetics, like the, his his outfit, especially when you get into like part seven, where like his kneecap is hanging out, and you can see his rib cage, and you know all of the the injuries and bullet wounds, and just you can see like the time and the damage from throughout the years of him dealing with you know different opponents, how it shows in his outfit, right? And I, I the the creators of that one right there, which is probably my favorite visually. He fights that psychic chick. Um, I'll break that down in a second. The, the the installments I didn't care for was Jason Goes to Hell and Jason Goes to Space. Even though Jason Goes to Hell has some pretty cool moments in it, the, the movie and the story was just it was just cheesy and corny. Jason Takes Manhattan, which is part eight, was pretty good too. Um, I would say, damn, those trees are beautiful. I'll give you guys a shot in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I would say with Jason Takes Manhattan, it was it was put together pretty well. And I think that was like the last time that they actually, the storyline, um, the way it was written, the characters and everything, the whole situation with him being in Manhattan in the big city and stuff like that was pretty good. And that was the last, in my opinion, of the better Friday the 13th for the franchise. So one of the earlier good ones, I don't know if it's part five, four or five, it might be five. You know what? Let's look it up. So they're saying in part five, the new beginning is with a young Tommy Jones. Um, anyway, it's one of those where <coughs> it's played by Corey Feldman, one of the characters in there. And uh, he has to deal with the whole thing with Jason. He's seen all the events lead up to the part where he actually challenges Jason and uh, shaves his head off, shaves his hair off his head. And then he hacks Jason up the ship. That was pretty cool too. Another cool part too in a part uh, scene in the, in one of those from one of those movies. I forget which one. But the little brother man Reggie. He on a little red and black uh, tracksuit. And that little brother was out. Bro. He was running hella fast. He was gone. He didn't even look back. He was out. Same thing with the brother in um, Jason Takes Manhattan when they're on the rooftop scene right there. And it's just him and Jason about to square off. He, he can't jump off, man. It's like four or five stories high, right? So he's like, he's like, fuck it, man. This we're about to go toe to toe, right? So he's like, come on, motherfucker. So come on. He's in his boxer stats. And that fool has some bolos, dude. He was like, wow, 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 wow. He hit Jason a good, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 times. He swung and swung and swung and hit Jason so many times until he got tired and swung. He couldn't swing no more. He had one more in him. And he get that one last one. And then Jason hauled back. Bah! Knocked his whole head off his neck. <laughs> his head went in the air, rolling, bouncing, doom, 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 bounce all the way into the trash can. The lid closed. That was classic right there. Well, you got to give it up for the, the the comedy part of that, like especially in the Freddy movies when they it's a it's a it's a horror movie, but you got the comic feel to it. That shit's funny as hell. So, I guess I'll recommend this chicken for those who haven't tried it, just to try it. Would I personally get it again? No. Will I stick with the original? Of course. All day, original is the best.
come out here to film. Nice and quiet shit. The car over there, a dude and a girl, they're probably smoking trees. And then this one dude's walking his kids. This other dude's trying to do some type of yoga. But I love the car mukbangs, you know what I'm saying? I would do tons of them, but I just, I want to be able to, you guys to get a good shot of the food right here. Like my boy, Lil Gilmo and um, Twilight. Like they got it down. I just need to keep researching and finding like, well, next year, um, you know, if I'm blessed because this first move that I'm doing that's temporary is going to allow me to save a lot more money which I need in my life. And then, so we're planning next year to get a nice um, newer, like a SUV. And then this car right here, I just got to get the two window tires put on, fix the ball joint. I already uh, did the whole tune up under the hood. So that's good. So just the tune ups and the tune up is done. The two tires for the front, cause the two in the back for winter are, are good. So just the two in the front I need. And then the ball joint on the top, on the passenger side front tire, it needs to be fixed. And then that's it. And this car is good and it got two filters to change um it sounds like a lot but it's not it's just a quick fix and then i'll sell this car to my son for like eight bills because it's good this this car has got a good another good three to four years strong in it if you keep it up and then he could have that that'll give him time to get something right now he's driving a nice little van he could just got he just paid money to get that fixed too so <clears throat> yeah so that's what's going on there with that then this this is like extremely like extremely crispy like as long as it's fresh and it's hot then, then it's all good this is the thigh meat right here mm. So this video is going to drop about three or four days before the most anticipated Halloween ever I've been anticipating. <clears throat> Halloween ends. So that was just a little bit on Friday the 13th right there. You guys pretty much know it if you're an old school head like myself. But yeah. October 14th is official. I think that's a Friday. So either that Friday evening or sometime as early as possible Saturday. <clears throat> I'm going to go online sometime after this video <clears throat> and see if I can get some tickets. If hopefully they're not sold out. And they got these theaters with these seats that recline. So I already told my sister says she wants to go. My other sister might be on board. My son, my daughter's work schedules are conflict. And my daughter doesn't have weekends off. <clears throat> Plus, Saturday, my son's going to be in Niagara Falls with his girl. So, I told him already. I said, listen, let me know for sure by Thursday, Friday the latest. I said, because if I know that you guys are all on board, I'll come drive all the way back up north. We can go to see it up here somewhere. If not, I'm staying down on my ends. And I'm going to see it regardless. I'll watch it two or three times in the theater, but whoever, but... I'm not missing it. I am not missing it. I don't want to hear nobody talking about it or nothing. If I see any uh, spoilers, I'm not watching those videos. You already know what it is. Because um, for those that are fans like me, 
and seeing how the last one ended, how this one's going to pick up for the trailers that are already out, it's going to be amazing. every time and I have to trust in the universe for everything in its right time I say okay last week and a week before situating packing and getting my car fixed that's the most important I need my car fixed right now that's pretty much almost 100% done with the few things I have left then I said okay this weekend boom I'm driving to Toronto I'm gonna go do wing stop finally then this movie pops up. So if I can squeeze it in the two, that'd be great. Because usually on the Sundays, I have to get up, prep everything for work, get everything cleaned up, laundry, everything ready to go. <clears throat> and then I'll game or I'll do some editing or whatever, chill, relax, and stuff like that. So I'm not really in the filming mood on the Sundays, right? That's more. That's mainly like once or twice during the week, if it allows. Excuse me, which is rare because work schedule breaks me down. By the time I'm done, not even even before I'm done work, I'm tired. I just want to shower, make sure I get something good to eat, start binge watching some shows. But now, like I said, we're in the process of moving again, so it's tough. So it's basically either Friday night or sometime during the day Saturday. I gotta get down there. I do have a collab that I'll be working on too with an amazing YouTuber. So when we get can get our time together, we're gonna work on that. And then I do have um, two other requests too. So there's a lot lined up. What is this, like a tour of the parking lot or something? Everybody's walking. It's beautiful, though. So, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler alert. If you didn't watch the last Halloween, I had spoken on this on my channel twice already. How it ends, it's picking up. It's not picking up right after. So my overstanding is pick it up four years later. From the time he came up. You remember the scene where Laurie Strode um she rigs her uh, underneath her kitchen island, right? So it's like remote control, so it could slide and it has stairs that goes down and it had these spikes that interlocked with each other and lock that you can't get out of that, right? And then she rigged some gas lines down there. She also has some weaponry down there. She used her daughter and her granddaughter as bait. So she was strapped up. They were down there crying and whimpering. He heard it, obviously, right? And he starts shaking the island or whatever. He breaks it open. He looks down there. And he sees them. So then the daughter starts whining and crying like, Mama, I can't do this. Help, help. And this is not. And he starts to come down there. She goes, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. Gotcha. Bow. Fires a shot right in his, in his cheek right here. Classic, man. And then he comes tumbling down. And then after a little struggle, a little, bit, a little extra in the scene right there here and there, basically, she gets him. She gets her daughter and her granddaughter up. And then she activates the spikes. It's like, ching, like this, you know what I'm saying? And he's like a good five, six feet higher than his head. So he can't reach it, right? So he's just, he's just staring. He's just looking up like this. She activate, activates the gas. I think she says something like, kiss your ass goodbye, Michael, or some shit, right? <laughs> In that moment, you got to say something that's like, it's going to be 
lasting for many, many decades to come, right? You know, like, hasta la vista, baby, or some crazy shit, right? Just kiss my ass, Michael. Kiss inside my moist, wet ass or some crazy shit, right? He's looking like, he's like, hmm? Like this? Like, Greg, what's up? The match? Boom. Whole house gone up in flames, right? So he's sitting there, barbecue Myers, right? Whole house engulfed in flames or whatever. So they get out, hitch a ride. Well, they're running down the street to hitch a ride with this dude. Long story short, they get on the pickup truck. They're like a good five minutes down the street. Dude's hauling ass. He's like, get us out of here, whatever. And then you hear sirens and stuff. They all, and then you see Jamie Lee Curtis, who is Lori Strode, Michael's sister, start screaming like, no, they're all yelling, no, no, no. You see like three or four ambulance, um, uh, fire trucks go by, police cruisers and some ambulance. Because they got a call for their fire, right? Excuse me. And... Uh, you guys gotta excuse me, man. I'm I'm nerding out with this stuff, but I don't care. I love it. I'm a, I'm a huge '80s retro, not just horror, but movies in general. Back to the Future, Harry and the Hendersons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Goonies, um, and I'm I'm big on like time travel and, and all that type of stuff. Sci-fi. I love sci-fi. <clears throat> I have pure sci-fi on my Audible. I actually found some some sci-fi stuff I need to uh, download and and buy. This next week coming. I got two books downloaded and ready to go to. Uh, one's called Hell Divers. That's a pretty dope series. I'm on series two of that. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. So so they're screaming. The trucks fly by, whatever. So those guys get there and start to you know do their job, right? The, they got to rescue whoever's in there. They're putting out the fire, or whatever. And there's one scene where this one fireman, like he steps on this piece of wood that's already like just like just pretty much toast. You feel me? Like literally like. The flame just consumed all of the structure, you know, right? And it collapses and he falls down there and then Michael gets to him. So now his partner comes in. He's like, oh, he sees his buddy down there. But so much fire and debris and noise and fire hoses going off and smoke. He can barely see, but he sees that he, he needs to help his buddy. So he's like, grab my hand, grab my hand or whatever. And Michael grabs his hand, right? We already know where that goes. So anyway, eventually Michael gets up, comes through the door, the whole little that little theme music comes on, whatever. He just looks dope, dude. Suit toe up, the water spraying. He's burnt. His, his side of his mask is singed to his face. The hair, every the aesthetics on that was just amazing. I was super impressed with that. So, man, I, it'd be dope if I opened up a channel just like breaking down like my favorite classic movies. But anyway, so he just melees all of them, just destroys it, just the way that he kills him. <laughs> turns on that big ass saw, that big like table saw, or whatever, and just like. Puts it through dude's shoulder, just like <laughs> you must have come like two feet into this dude. Dude's like <laughs> just violent, dude. You know what I'm saying? But before I do end this, because I have my food is done. Before I do call it the day for this video, um, the one scene though that was so clean and classic was, um, and I'm getting it confused. I don't know if it was the one before. No, it, what am I saying? It was this last one that passed right here. So you get to see Michael a little bit. You get to see a good full side profile. You kind of get the idea of his face because if you look at the extra footage on YouTube, excuse me, you see the actor that plays Michael. He's an older, <clears throat> I, I guess, European gentleman, whatever. He about six foot two or something like that. Um, and he's got a, a decent shape size to his body, right? So he's perfect in that outfit to play Michael Myers. So it's one scene where uh, most of the survivors and a couple people in the neighborhood gather together, make a huge circle, probably like about eight or ten of them, right? And they all have like baseball bats and chains and knives and bottles and golf clubs and whatever, you name it, right? <clears throat> they get ready to go in on mic, right? Or think that they're going to go in on mic. So anyway, somebody rips his mask off, right? And then it's on the floor. And so there's one scene where he's standing there and the camera pans around to the side, right? And he just, he's like, he's looking forward this way and then you just kind of like, Looks to the side a little bit like this. And you get a whole few seconds of just to see his face right here. And his eyes like all like bruised up and scabbed up and just like mangled right here. And you can see like the wear and tear just on his expression alone, right? Because he don't really make no expressions. But I found that to be just iconic right there. Classic, perfectly well done Halloween movie with Michael Myers being played by this guy. Forgive me if I forget his name right now. If I remember when I'm editing this video, I'll put it up here somewhere as well as my son's pictures for his birthday. But um, yeah, that's about it, man. Super looking forward to that. Looking forward to the new Halloween that's dropping this October 14th in your theaters. Um, definitely going to be there to see that. <clears throat> also, there is talk. 
on the internet. Uh, forgive me for not remembering right now which video it was. I, I scrolled through so many. Um, that they want to make a part 13 of Friday the 13th. All right. So stay tuned for that. Movie buffs, horror movie buffs, man. I hope that this got you your, your, your spidey senses tingling. Uh, this was my KFC video right here, man. The spicy chicken was okay. I'd rather go with the original any day. Um, so stay tuned for the next videos to come. Uh, I wish everybody a happy birthday. That's uh, finishing off this, uh, or actually it's in the beginning of this October, Libra babies. My son being on the night. So, yeah, once again, happy birthday to my son. Um, shout out to all my uh, subscribers, my, my gang, my angels. Um, you know, all my loved ones out there that support my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're watching this and you enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. So when I upload videos like this, you'll get notified to your phone and you don't miss anything, right? Also, everybody, if you can, uh, hit the like button for me and leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel about the last two Halloween movie installments because I'd love to hear your input on that. And are you looking forward to the new one that's coming? And are you going to go see it? Who are you going to go see with all that good stuff? Um, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today, man. Stay blessed. I love you guys, man. Thank you for all your support. It's your boy Snoopy Eats. I'm about to sign off. Peace.